Hey there everybody, today we're going to install this Husky 50 foot retractable cord reel and uh, I was looking for something to install in the garage because I was really tired of having extension cords you know all over the place and even though I did a video on extension cord organization I really don't like having to uh, unwind them, wrap them back up again I wanted something that would be easier to manage up out of the way like this reel. So I was shopping and looking at all different kinds and I felt that this one was probably the best one for the money. It was roughly $75, but it comes with 50 feet of 14 gauge wire. And if you were just to buy a 50 foot 14 gauge extension cord in the store, it's gonna cost you you know, roughly $30 anyway. So the way I was looking at it, it was around 40 bucks then just for the uh, for the hose reel so we're gonna install it now here we go so what what I wanted to do is get the uh, the reel centrally located I f at first I thought about putting it you know above the um, the air compressor hose reel up here but you know honestly I'd rather not have to pull it all the way across the garage I've got 50 feet so if I put it in the center of the garage and I still want to go out and use the cord to you know, vacuum out the cars or something, I still have plenty of cord to do that. Now, I prefer to mount it right in the center. However, this, um, this unit only comes with about uh, three feet of, um, of cable to plug into the outlet. And I don't think, in fact, I know if I, if I mount it in the center, I will not reach that outlet there. So I'm going to find the studs right here. You can probably see them on camera. Mount it just offset to the left. That's fine because you know the workbench is over here anyway. And um, it should be an easy project mounted here on the uh, ceiling joist and then plug it in there and we're good to go. The bracket they give you to mount this is pretty versatile. You've got holes on this side if you want to mount it this way or you can mount it on the top um, you could also spin this around if you want to it it's got some flexibility that I like so um, what I think I'm gonna do is is just mount it right from the top plate using uh, three of these holes they provide you with um, with these screws and that's basically it so the first thing I need to do is take the hose reel off of the mounting bracket to make it easier to install. So we're going to mount it here, right where you can see the uh, sheetrock tape line is with the indentations where they hammered the sheetrock nails. Now what we want to do is mark three of these holes up on the ceiling and then pre-drill. We want to make sure we're choosing a bit that's just a bit thinner than the screw we're going to use. absolutely solid and not going anywhere. So now all we have to do is install the reel back on here. Okay, now the pin is back on with the safety ring to keep it from sliding out. And now all we need to do is uh, plug the reel in here. Okay, it's plugged in, but you see this wire's hanging here. I don't like it. I'm going to use a zip tie to, uh, to hold it up higher. All right. There we go. I think it, uh, works great. very helpful. I hope this was helpful for you. 
it really, you know, with all the editing and the video, I can tell, tell you it took me a total of 20 minutes to install this. Something that anyone can do. I recommend it. Uh, the hose reel, like I said, was about $75 in that range. Uh, follow the link below. You can see where you can buy it. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you did. Thanks very much.